Welcome into the Nesson Digital Studio for Bruins Now. I'm Courtney Cox, and while most of New England, if not all, is suiting up for Super Bowl 53, where the beloved Patriots will take to the field for the third consecutive time in the big game. But guys, there's still things going on here. We've got some Bruins games to root for. The Bruins returned from All-Star break to take on the Winnipeg Jets, and it was a battle until, well, past the end. David Pasternak notched his league-leading 14th power play goal with a tally in the first period. Patrice Bergeron found the back of the net twice in regulation. It was the 37th career two-goal game for the Bruins' number 37. The Bruins' top line of Pasternak, Bergeron, and Brad Marchand combined for eight points, but Winnipeg's Connor Hellebuck stopped all three Bruins' attempts in the shootout. It was the first shootout loss by the Bees this season. So while that's what happened during the game, there was a debut that took place on the TD Garden ice. The Bruins' 2016 first-round draft pick took to the ice for the first time as a Boston Bruin on Tuesday night. Trent Frederick played against the Jets. The 20-year-old center was drafted 29th overall by the Bees in 2016. Hailing from St. Louis, Missouri, Trent made his debut in center between David Backus and Danton Heinen. Backus, as you may recall, was a legend in St. Louis, so yeah, this is a dream come true for Frederick. He was a rookie. Uh, I was actually at the Kachuk's house and I think he was living with them and he played uh, like mini hockey or like knee hockey and that's kind of how I first got introduced with them and then he obviously uh, built a name from there so kind of everyone knew who he was by then. I mean, he's obviously one of the best players from the Blues when I was, uh, when I was there so it's pretty crazy. You know, to get to share the ice with his first game, play on the line together, you know, there's a lot of emotions and a lot of stuff just trying to contain yourself in your first NHL game. And um, he's a good kid with a good shoulder, a good head on his shoulders. And if I can give him a little direction, just let him do his thing, I think it'll be a, a successful debut for him. Frederick played 13 shifts, logging 829 of ice time while firing two shots and registering two hits. He also went four for seven in faceoffs. Oh, did I mention he threw down in his debut? Coach Cassidy absolutely loved it. I thought he played very well. He's ad as advertised, played between the dots, strong on pucks, played behind their D, made a few plays. You know, when he had a chance to shoot it, he did. Great scrap, good for him. Um, we need some of that. You know, there's a lot of younger players in the league now, so it can't be Z and Bacchus policing 20 year olds every night. You know, they've got, they'll take care of the veteran guys, obviously, talk to them, but you need a little bit of the, our younger guys to stiffen up. Tuka Rask has been out since before the All-Star break with a concussion he suffered in the loss against the Rangers. Fans were hopeful that the week off would bring Rask back. That's not the case just yet. We're going to wait. Uh, normally I'll announce the day before. Let's see how he does in the morning. It was his first full practice. We want to make sure that there's no fatigue and whatnot. He hasn't been, he missed some time. So um, assuming he's ready to go and, and feels good about everything, then like I said, good chance he'll get in. If not, then it's certainly be Sunday. So hopeful that Rask will make his return sooner rather than later, just in time for these matchups. The next five games bring the Flyers to town on Thursday night. The Bees will look to get vengeance after the 4-3 loss to Philly earlier this month. Bruce Cassidy and co. then head to D.C. to take on the Stanley Cup champs. The Bruins are 0-2 against the squad this season. The TD Garden then hosts Bruins versus Islanders before the Bees hit the road to New York, New York to take on the Rangers on Wednesday, February 6th. The players had the past week off where they could choose how to spend their time, and they all made the most of it. David Krejci has had his hands full ever since he and his wife welcomed baby number two for their family on January 3rd, so he probably spent his time splitting diaper duty. So that's one way to spend the break. Another one, David Pasternak spent his time in the sunshine. Well, kind of. Pasta was in San Jose, but spent a lot of the time in the arena for the All-Star Games. And the third way to spend it, well, this would be my ideal way, a nice vacation. Kevin Miller took off to the Bahamas to stay at the famous Atlantis with his family, and I am jealous. Anyone who's ever been to Paradise Island sees this picture and just imagines Miller taking the leap of faith through the shark-infested waters. All right, that will do it for this episode of Bruins Now. Enjoy the rest of your week and really enjoy Sunday because it's filled with Boston sports. The Bees are in action at 12.30 in D.C., taking on the Capitals. The Celtics play home to the Thunder at 2 p.m. from the TD Garden. And then, oh yeah, the Super Bowl. Patriots-Rams, 6.30 p.m. in Atlanta. Good to be a sports fan in New England. Bye, guys.